1931, and Amy Semple McPherson marries a third time. The famous evangelist with her latest bridegroom, David L. Hutton. I was just thinking this morning about that scripture. This is Amy as thousands remember her in the pulpit. 1935 returns from Europe. It's the very spot where our Lord was raised from the dead and his ascension from the Mount of up through Europe and catching the boat for home. My trip was primarily one for health and recuperation following my nervous oh, breakdown. to be back in America, back to our church and to the evangelistic world. Well, welcome back. We are at Glendale Forest Lawn. We are at the Memorial Terrace, directly behind me. Actually, Michael Jackson is laid to rest here. And the reason we're here is because I've done so many videos in Elstar on the castle up above Lane. Uh, of Sister Amy McPherson, and I found out from just by chance another video I watched that she's actually laid to rest out here, and it's pretty interesting to, from what I've seen on a video, I want to see it in person, and then I want to go out to her castle again, so I'm going to film this first, I'm going to go inside here real quick, I don't think I'm allowed to shoot video at that point, but I'll show you guys around, let's go. So right here is the Memorial Terrace. And I believe like through this, cause it's all locked up. I believe Michael Jackson's actually on the other side. I'll try and find out or look, but like I said, we're here to see Sister Amy McPherson. And look at that guy going up the curb. So wow. it's a bit tricky to get to and you have to, well, if you come from the Grand Terrace right here, you have to go up and then all the way down this to kind of find where Amy is, but it's, it is doable and I'm about to make my way up to her grave. Sister Amy Semple McPherson. Wow, she spared no expense and she was quite wealthy. This is quite a hike too. Luckily it's not too warm right now. And I'm trying to think, where is Michael Jackson? He's at one of these in the back. Cause I know, I think it's up there. Okay, we have check. made it. Hello, Amy Semple McPherson. So, a little bit about Amy. Well, she was a Protestant evangelist, surpassing Billy Sunday and other predecessors. She was actually the, she started off, ah, fly went in my ear. She uh, started the Foursquare Church. She found, what else about her, her ministry? She was a faith healer too. Wow, this is something. She passed away in Oakland. I believe it was sleeping pills. And I think her son found her, if I'm not mistaken. Rolf Kennedy McPherson, beloved son. Yes, Rolf, that was. You have one of the praying angels there. Step over this chain. Amy gets the... Uh, the large spot, as you can see. I'm not sure who the Nichols or the Courtney family is. Very gothic. And right below the Dahlia ter uh, Terrace entrance. Let's see what this says. Here it is. Ronald Roth LaRue. Our love in the Lord carry you now. In, me, in memory of Amy McPherson, pastor of Angelus Temple, founder, 1890 to 1944. She was quite young. The Life Bible College, what does that say? Proud we pay tribute to the great defender of the faith who proclaimed to the world Jesus Christ, the, the only savior, baptizer with the Holy Ghost, healer and coming king after seeing her castle for so long and doing videos on that it's kind of cool to be here finally take a minute take it all in and that's echo park in glendale very peaceful out here so it's really cool for me to finally have made it here after all the time of all the videos and not knowing what that castle was on top of Lake Ellesmere for all this time. 
I think I'm gonna go maybe in the tomorrow or the next day, you'll see in the continuance of this video, back up to the castle. For Amy's sake, and just to pay more respects. Respect. It's really uh, surreal for me being here. It's kind of cool. Um, I don't know why I stumbled across it. It's one of those things where, with my YouTube videos and you know everything linking up and I guess keywords and stuff, it it refers me to other videos and so on, and so on. And and I'm really glad that this one did pop up. So I don't know what drew me to Amy McPherson, but even in Elsinore before I even knew she'd be out here. Um, that castle and wondering what, what what is that on top of the hill there so with that being said Amy McPherson started the evangelist church Amy McPherson had a has an interesting life I, I really think that they should do something about it maybe make a movie TV show at least Amy McPherson also one of the big controversies with her and I've mentioned this before is she was at Santa Monica Beach or Malibu Beach I believe it's Santa Monica she was swimming and disappeared. Her story was, somebody said, our son needs healing. He needs you, Amy McPherson. Can you please come over here, a man and a woman? She went over to heal the son, and that's when she was abducted. She disappeared for three weeks. She was supposedly taken to Mexico. She got away, escaped, and when she escaped, she walked about 17 miles through the desert before she was found. A lot of people said, I don't know. I don't know if that's true. Amy, you know, and you're laying with your secret or the truth of what really happened. But a bit of controversy. And then after that, she actually came back stronger than ever. And then she really had her church over here in Echo Park. She, um, there's some really cool video of that. I'll try to find some of that and try to insert that as well. But just want to say rest in peace, Amy McPherson. Off to your house. Before I leave, too, I was just sitting here just taking some time talking with Amy. How nice. You got one angel here kneeling, being laid to rest here. And then you have another one, an angel on this side, covering the heart. I wonder if there's any video, and if there is, I'd love to find it for you guys when she passed away of her service here. I'd really like to show that. Uh, I was actually just heading out and if you do come up here for any reason for Glendale and you do go to the Memorial Terrace to see the Last Supper uh, glass window, I just want to say there's the entrance and this window right here, these, uh, you'll see the main thing last and there's two sides. Directly behind that is where Michael Jackson is laid to rest. That's in a locked off area. But if you're ever wondering, where Michael is, directly behind these windows. Leaving Los Angeles for New York and the boat upon which we sail immediately, I was met en route by multitudes of our friends. Among them ever was a liberal sprinkling of newspaper men. And in each city, they asked the same question. Sister McPherson, what do you think of prohibition? It was rather difficult to answer the question in such a few words as one must use them. But I told them that the case of our prohibition here in the United States reminds me of the story of the lecturer who gave a marvelous address on prohibition. And he wound up in a blaze of glory that brought everyone to their feet enthusiastically. Why, he said, my friends, if I had my way, do you know what I'd do? I'd take every barrel of liquor, every bottle of booze, every crate, and I'd empty it in the river. Yes. Well, we are high in the hills. We have made it to Lake Elsinore from our video and from Sister Amy talking and showing you clips of that and her final resting place. This was her house as I've done plenty of videos on and we're in Lake Elsinore at the very top. It's more like a castle looking place. I'll show it one more time. It looks like there's a few people here today, which I've never seen before, but I think this is gonna do it in closing the chapter on Sister Amy, unless somebody knows somebody up here that could possibly show me inside i'd like to see some of the the work and a lot of the stuff that still remains from when sister amy was here but there's a lot of stuff in the bushes back there i'm hearing stuff all around so anyways with that being said one final view of sister amy's castle and we'll be done 
and that's the garage down there that goes up into the main house. That's actually a room. I've showed that before, and that's the 15 freeway out there going to Los Angeles. But here we are atop the hill. It looks, you can see the tile work. Looks like they're getting some water in there from the rains we've had in Southern California this year. And we'll head up. A quick view of the backyard and the swimming pool that I believe was here. And the view Sister Amy had of Lake Elsinore. It's kind of hazy, but it, like I said, it's burning off. It's been like this lately in Southern California. This would have been her backyard in her house. You can see some of the tile work right there too. Like I said, if anybody knows anyone that would be willing to give me a tour, I'd really appreciate it. I'd like to do it justice on the inside as well. Remembering Sister Amy Semple, or Sister Amy Semple McPherson. The downstairs, as I was saying, out of the garage and then up there, but yeah. and the guard dogs. So upon walking around here, I just met Dave and Dave is actually the groundskeeper for this area. And he was just informing me that this is now a private house and it has been bought. They're doing the renovations actually to the house. Everything's still the same, the fixtures, the mosaic tile work. However, he said it is not open for viewing at this time. That might change uh, in the future. They do have an issue every once in a while with people coming up here not my sort of people, but people coming in here trying to get in, usually if um, homeless or just people trying to just get inside the house and see what they can get out of it. So it's off limits. If you do come up here, there's a road and that's about as far as it can go. And that's the road that we're on right here. I wanna walk around this side too and just show you guys, like I've shown in the past, the lake is right over there. He also told me that likes of the Rat Pack were out here and are noted that Sinatra would come out here and this area, I'll tell you in a second, but just a beautiful day and beautiful view. And the so lake. With that being said, I wanna say thank you for watching. Thank you for Dave for talking to me and taking the time and telling me a little bit about it. Like I said, off limits, Dave had a few talks down the line it might be open that they might let some people in and show it around but another interesting thing he told me was out in this area during the prohibition days kind of wasn't such an issue out here let's say that you know while prohibition was going on in LA and the major cities out here it was kind of leisurely so people might come out here for a drink from time to time and I think that's funny because of the clip I showed of sister Amy talking about prohibition and what she would do with the booze right down the old uh, drain there so with that being said i appreciate you watching if you know anything about this place once again thank you dave let me know in the comments or write me a message please consider subscribing as always i'll see you next time and sister amy simple mcpherson and right on cue there goes a plane with some skydivers in at the mid-morning here in lake elsinore getting ready to jump and returning up through Europe and catching the boat for home. My trip was primarily one for health and recuperation following my nervous breakdown of some three years ago. And I'm very grateful for this beautiful rest. I'm so happy to be back in America, back to our church and to the evangelistic work. When trouble or Shadows cross our sky. It's a marvelous thing to be able to turn to the rock of ages and the Lord's own.